Okay, folks, I'm gonna do something today that I don't normally do on uh, our channel. Our channel is, you know, about homesteading and raising animals and foraging for wild plants and doing herbal medicinal things. Um, so today I'm gonna show you something totally different. Um, this is about a Bible, um, Bible study and a prayer Bible. So, uh, so just a fair warning, <laughs> letting you know ahead of time that this is not our normal video. This is not about foraging or homesteading or any of that. Um, this is more about uh, my walk with the Lord. And, uh, you know, I got revival in my heart about a year ago. Uh, got saved when I was younger and went to church all my life. My grandfather was a Baptist preacher and my family just went to Baptist church all of our lives, uh, most all of us. And uh, so I got saved when I was young. And uh, so I didn't always walk with the Lord. I got away from the Lord several times in my life for different reasons, but always came back. He always uh, convicted me and got me back, uh, back to him. Um, so about a year ago, uh, we started going to a new church, me and Lee, and we had revival at church and I got kind of revived and felt like I really wanted to get back in close with the Lord. I do have a personal relationship with the Lord, but I had kind of gotten a little cold, I'd say. And uh, so I, uh, I had a Bible. I should have brought that in here. I had a Bible that I've gone through for years and, uh, you know, took my notes, made my marks. I'll stop and get that and show you that. Okay, so back to this. Um, here's my old Bible. I've had this for uh, just years and years. It is a Schofield Reference Bible, King James Version. Um, I've had it for years. And uh, I have took notes in it, marked in it, um, just different places, just usually just marking pen uh, marks in the, on the side and little notes here and there. I've highlighted a few things in it now and then, but I found that highlighting usually would bleed through. See? Usually highlighters will bleed through, and so I didn't do that a whole lot. Um, there I took a red pen and underlined. So, you know, just different notes. One of the worst things I've done was highlight a whole... <laughs> I really loved this um, chapter in the Bible and highlighted it and um, and it, I guess, well, it bled through, but it also was just kind of overkill, I guess. It was a, a much, much, and uh, kind of wished I hadn't highlighted that much in there, maybe, but I did. And other places, there's lots of, but I also took notes in the back. So here is in the back where I had taken notes and uh, referenced scripture to subjects. That's mostly what this is, is where I found a subject that I needed, that I was interested in or that intrigued me or something, and I would write what it was and where to find the scripture for it. So I had done that for years, all through there, all through the back of it. And so, and of course, notes that are falling out that where I just wrote down a scripture I want it to look up later and that kind of thing. Anyway, this was my Bible many, many years. And um, so um, the, the type is very small. There's where I got it, 1990. I got this one in 1990. So um, this, the the uh, top is very small. I don't know what point that is. Probably, uh, gosh, I don't even know, a seven maybe. It's little top. I don't know for sure what type, what font, uh, what 
yeah, what type size that is. Not real sure. But anyway, that's been a good Bible for me over the years. I love it, and I will keep that here in the house to uh, reference, especially reference this back stuff back here. And, uh, and check my notes every once in a while that I did take in it. Um, I'll be, I'll, I will hang on to that and have that in my bedroom to uh, reference to. But I bought me, uh, about a year ago, <laughs> I bought a uh, large print. And this is a King James Version also. I don't know what, I don't know what, uh, uh, but I, I'm not real sure on the font on this either, but it is possibly a 10, nine, at least nine. It's at least a nine, uh, nine uh, font size. So I bought this one and it's got uh, the, some of the tabs, the little short tabs on it. And, uh, and I love this Bible. I just recently, at first, at first I was like, oh, I'm not even gonna write in this Bible. You know how you do? I got a new Bible, brand new Bible. And I was like, oh, I'm not even gonna write in it. Well, then I thought, as I was at church on Sunday morning and the preacher is doing scripture and I started just putting a little mark beside the scripture. Let's see if I can find one. Like that. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. I just put a little bitty mark by the scripture just to show that I had been through there and read that. Okay, and only thing, and, and I will say one thing I don't like about this Bible is the words come through. Even the words, not what I have written, the words come through the back a little bit. See how you can kind of see the words through the back of that a little bit? I don't really like that. That messes with my eyes some too. I needed the bigger print because I have bifocals now, and that small print was even hard to see with my bifocals. <laughs> But this is better, I can see it better, but the back kind of bleeds through there from the words on the other side of the page. That kind of bothers me a little bit, but, uh, but anyway. Um, so, I started seeing these uh, YouTube channels about um, Bible study and um, uh, mark you know and they mark up their bibles with stuff like notes and stuff and um it's um just kind of a bible study uh you use it as like you do your references and you do uh they have like where they do little fold outs and put notes on that and things like that and I will, um, one lady I remember the name of is Sister Rita. Sister Rita does, um, does this type of thing. And the prayer Bible. I'll get to the prayer Bible in just a minute. Uh, but this is my study Bible. Uh, there's a couple of really good channels that go through this and explain this. And I will link those in the description below. So be sure that you look in the description below and you will see some of these other ladies that are doing these prayer Bibles and um, study Bibles. And, um, and it just feathers your experience with the scriptures. And uh, just watching them do it on video, I really wanted to do it to, uh, to learn more and grow more and get, uh, get more of God's Word and understand it better because you're getting in here and studying and making notes. Now, what I've done uh, right off the bat, I, I have little notes tucked in already. But uh, I also put in um, some pages. Here's a little page. This is just a blank page of stationary paper that I had. It's old stationary paper. Isn't that pretty? So anyway, so what you do is um, you can take notes all different kind of ways. These ladies do all different kinds of things. They'll put uh, tabs on there with uh, subjects 
instead of your tabs that have your uh, uh, book of the Bible, they will put extra tabs that have subjects. So if you're looking for subjects on uh, love or um, um, discipline or um, I'm trying to think of something, uh, healing, you know, okay, let's say healing. If you're looking for scripture about healing, um, you would have maybe a purple tab, uh, several. You would have 10 purple tabs across here that are about healing. And then um, love, maybe you would have red tabs all across here that would show scriptures on love and compassion or whatever, and uh, that kind of thing. So you would have different colors of tabs showing different uh, subjects, and uh, that way you can easily find all the scriptures that are about uh, compassion or whatever. So the reason for these would be that where you maybe have studied a, a chapter or a book, um, and you want it to take notes, and some Bibles have, you can get Bibles that have large margins so that you can write in your margins. And uh, one lady has a Bible that every other page is blank to write on. I thought that was pretty neat, but I don't have that, so, I can take these and stick in here. I can write all kinds of notes all over that about uh, 1 Kings. I'm in 1 Kings. Okay, so I've studied 1 Kings maybe, and I've taken extra notes or uh, want to reference other scriptures or whatever about 1 Kings, and I can write all over these and keep them it, at 1 Kings there. And you can even glue them in. Some of those folks will take and put glue right along the edge and glue it right in there. And then it stays in your Bible there and it's got notes about First King all over it. First Kings all over it there. So that's what some of them are doing. And uh, that's kind of a Bible study way. Let's see, I've got more notes. I've just started this. So I really doesn't, I don't have a lot of notes in here. Uh, like I did in the back of my old Bible there. I don't have a lot in this one yet. But I also took, and on some pages that had, um, <clears throat> so this page, that was the end of the scripture there, and the rest of this was blank. And instead of writing on these delicate pages, I took and put, post-it notes, and I glued them in. These were post-it note uh, stickers, and I glued them in and decorated it just a little bit, and now I can write right in there. I can write notes right there. So, I haven't done that yet, but I've made spots throughout my Bible to do that on some of the uh, pages like that that had blanks. Uh, trying to find another one. There's one. Um, so those are just glued in there, post-it notes that are glued in there. And um, it's down at the bottom where there was blank page space. And I glued that in so now I can write notes in there about uh, something right around that section of the Bible or whatever. And uh, so here's one where I took notes, and uh, that was in Exodus, and I did study a little bit in Exodus there, and I stuck that note in there. Now, I could glue that in, or I can, uh, some of them will take and just glue it to right at the bottom or tape it down at the bottom, and then it's uh, fold out, and you can read it and leave it in there, and it stays. Right now, I'm just sticking mine in there. So, we'll see how that goes. And uh, anyway, so that's what I've done. I've got just little papers. These were just little decorative 
pieces of paper that I can write on and take notes on, and stick it in my Bible wherever I'm studying at. And uh, that's my study Bible. So there you go. Uh, that's my study Bible and, uh, and also the one I take to church. Uh, now, what I really want to talk about is my new prayer Bible. So, I bought a new Bible, and I bought this little um, condensed version, and it is also large print. Now, it's not as large a print as my large print big Bible, but it was supposed to be large print. It's not, it's probably large print for a condensed Bible, but it's not real large, <laughs> but uh, with the prayer Bible, so with the prayer Bible, you can take it with you, you can stick it in your purse, and you mark it up for, just for prayer. So if you, if somebody uh, needs healing, <clears throat> and uh, so let's see, uh, let's say, okay, my uh, brother-in-law, Chris, was in a bad car wreck, and uh, he needs lots of prayer for healing. <clears throat> and that's one reason that I bought this, because I saw where people were doing this, and, and, and he came to mind. He needs healing. And uh, so what they will do with these is they will take uh, your, uh, say, your Post-it notes, and it's say you're going to use this um, pink one here. I'm going to go ahead and tear it off and just show. Okay, and you're going to find uh, several scriptures of God's promises for healing. And you're going to put this little pink post-it note there by that scripture. And now these post-it notes, these come from a Mr. Pen and he seems to have the very best stuff for doing this with because his stuff is, uh, uh, it has the highlighter set that doesn't bleed through. It's supposed to be non-bleed through uh, for your Bible. So, and then, they, and then they have matching things. So the light pink there or peach color, whatever that is, it's kind of a peach color. So I'm not sure which one. These are the highlighters that I ordered through Mr. Pen that are non-bleed through. Let's see which one closest matches that. I think that one closely matches that. So then I would take my highlighter and I would highlight that scripture on that page that has to do with healing. God's promise for healing. And then I will take and make me a key. Now, I don't have a key made, but we're going to just assume this is going to be my key. And I'm going to put this brown, I called it brown, is for healing. Now, this is not what I'm actually doing. I'm doing this just to show you. And then I would take one of these tabs just to show it. Okay, so I would do this. I would say brown for healing and show that brown tab. And then, actually, I'd probably put it down here somewhere. Anyhow, then I would have tabs all through this prayer Bible there would be tabs that are that color, and I would know that all those scriptures are scriptures about healing. And so then, what I'm going to do, and some of them do it different ways, I'm going to take a post-it note and write down, or one of these even, and write um, his name and the need. So... Chris needs healing. So I would write that down in here and have all the scriptures that are for healing, God's promise for healing or whatever, would be all down in there. So then when I come to my Bible to pray, and I feel like this would encourage me more to pray for that person, 
And so I come to my Bible several times a day and I can pray for Chris for healing and go to some of these scriptures and go to maybe flip to a couple of the scriptures and read that scripture and then pray uh, for Chris for healing, you, you know. So, um, like I said, until you see this done, it's hard to understand. Uh, but anyway, I would use different ones. I would maybe use, let's say, this blue. And then I would take the blue tabs and use this blue pen and highlight uh, some other topic. Uh, so, I ordered this from Mr. Pen and it came with all of those different uh, types of post-it notes to stick in there and uh, just all different sizes and kinds. These have tabs right on them. So like if I used this post-it note and that's the brown and say I used that post-it note and stuck it at the edge of the Bible and my brown would be showing and I would have uh, a couple of people I'm praying healing for written on there and stick that in there with the tab sticking out. So then I go to that brown tab and pray for all those people on that um, page and um, and pray for healing for them. So um, let's see, I'm not sure what that is. This came with it, that's some kind of stickers. Um, and this pen came with it, which I don't know that I will use. I really don't want to mark right in my Bible and some of them do. Some of them do. Uh, on the videos that I watch, a lot of them do maybe mark in their Bible. They highlight, you would highlight uh, some of the scriptures on that page that are for healing. But some of them write in there also. The only place I would write, and I don't think this Bible even has that. It doesn't. It doesn't. So I would just maybe write on my uh, post-it notes or something like that, or maybe do papers like, like I did in this one. I could take um, papers. I even saved some papers. I had an old calendar that I just was about to throw away, and I realized it had these lines that I could cut up and make these the size that would fit in here. So I could cut these and have lines and cut it to where it would fit inside of that in my Bible here. And I could use those for more notes and things in the prayer Bible. So anyway, this is my prayer Bible. I'm just getting started. Um, I think it's a great idea. I really feel like it will help me to remember who all has asked for prayer. That's a big thing is sometimes remembering who all has asked for prayer and what their need is. And sometimes we just jot that down on a piece of paper and then lose our piece of paper. Um, ignore the cat walking across the couch. That is the little kitten that Lee found and got out of a dog's mouth. And I had to bottle feed it from a week old. He, Lee brought it in the house when he was a week old. He and just had him fixed because he is four months old now. And uh, about four months old, you need to get them fixed so they don't spray in your house. And he has really become my buddy. He thinks I'm his mama for sure because I bottle fed him from a week old. <laughs> and his name is Tigger. So anyway, <laughs> ignore Tigger. Uh, so that that's what I'm doing. I just wanted to show uh, what I'm doing, I really like this idea of a prayer Bible uh, and a study Bible, Bible separately. So I will be studying scripture in this one and taking it to church and marking uh, study notes. And then this one will be just for prayer. I will take all of my little notes when somebody asks prayer. I will take them and st stick them in here. And then when I have time, I will take them and um, and and mark it up to where, like I was talking about, to where I'm praying specifically for that person, for Chris, for healing, you know? And then I stick that in there, 
and um, and then maybe a couple of times a day I get out my prayer Bible and actually pray for all the people that have asked prayer and I can pray for their specific need with along with a scripture that fits that need you know uh, I love the idea of prayer Bible so like I said I'm a link a couple of those um, uh, ladies that have these um, videos on prayer Bibles. I'll link some of those below. Most of them have both a study Bible and a prayer Bible. Uh, one lady called Kat, I uh, can't remember her last name, maybe Kat, Kat Woods or something like that. I'll link her below. And uh, did you hear me say Kat? Did you hear me say Kat? No, uh, no, you're a cat. <laughs> um, one lady that's name is Kat, and um, she has what she calls a um, a flower Bible, a garden Bible, a garden Bible, and she puts all of her uh, all of her tabs and post-it notes are flowerful, and so she's got flowers all in her prayer Bible, and. Uh, I think it's called a Bible garden. Yeah, Bible garden. That's what she calls it, a Bible garden. And then uh, also they talk about taking this Bible with you. So once you've got a lot of it marked up and you've got tabs showing where certain scripture is, you can comfort someone, uh, someone that needs, uh, let's see, someone that's got anxiety and I'm talking to them about that and they have anxiety, I can grab my Bible out of my purse and find all the scriptures on anxiety and read those to that person and maybe help them with their anxiety by me being able to automatically find a lot of scriptures about anxiety. So, anyway, that's that's what I've got. This is King James Version. I don't know if I said that. All of mine are King James Version. That's just what I grew up on and what I know. And uh, so, also, oh, one more thing. Um, I made me a little caddy. <laughs> I made me a little caddy to hold my supplies. So, in here, I have glues that are um, safe for scrapbooking. So they would hopefully be good and safe for, for putting in my Bible, for taping things in my Bible, or uh, not taping. I said taping because I bought these little tapes. I bought these little washi tapes, and you can take and tape in pieces of paper with washi tape. And, uh, oh, threw that one. I threw that one plumb over there. And what else have I got? My scissors. And highlighters these highlighters bleed through so I had them in here but I'm not going to use them they bleed through I will be getting more of the mr. pen highlighters that don't bleed through and I, don't, I got a stamp I got a stamp and ink pad I could maybe stamp on some of the uh, papers just to make them cutesy and and fun so there you go. That's what I'm doing. That's my new project that I'm working on. Um, I hate to call it a project because I hope that I continue to do it for a long time, but that's what I'm working on. And um, so y'all give me a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. And uh, comment if you write in your Bible or how you take notes in your Bible and uh, have you seen the prayer Bibles and what do you think about that? And uh, in, anything like that, give me any hints. Uh, do you have a better way of taking notes in your Bible or a better way of remembering who to pray for and uh, things like that? So let me know what you think. And uh, I'm not gonna do this a whole lot on my channel. You're not going to, uh, I'm not going to turn this channel into a, a, a prayer Bible channel. Uh, I just want it to show what I'm doing and uh, hopefully get somebody else on board to check into doing it too. So there you go. Thank you for watching.